What's going on you guys? Mr. Mooney1235 here again with another album review. Slay Bills, Reign of Terror. I heard of this band through a promo on MTV, and then I saw uh, the Needle Drop review it on one of his older videos, and uh, he absolutely hated it. But I kind of like the song that I heard in the preview on MTV, and it was called Kids. And so I went and checked out the album, and I thought that the sound was really, really cool. It sounded like gushers in my ears, kind of. I don't know. I just really liked the sound a whole lot. So I bought the album. And I love Treats. I love Treats with all my heart. I love their first album. But now, two years later, we have Reign of Terror. And I've got to say, it really, 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 really let me down a lot. I'm sorry to say it, but this album is freaking awful. I've seen other reviews of it already up on YouTube, and a few people have actually been giving it like a 7 out of 10, and have actually been complimenting it. I'm not saying a ton to compliment. The album starts with a live recording from one of their shows, and I'm not really sure, but I don't really like the intro to this album. Like, it starts off with her, like, getting ready to perform one of their concerts. It sounds like this song might have been recorded live and just thrown onto the first track of the CD as, like, an opener. But even the song itself, I don't really like. It's just a minute-long, repetitive guitar riff and lyrics that don't mean anything. But that's not really important. In this noise pop genre, lyrics don't really mean that much. In noise pop, all that really matters is the sound that you're getting. Born to Lose is the second track, and this is where my main issue with the album comes up. This album would have been a lot better if the songs were cut a whole lot shorter. There's so many songs on this album that are just so repetitive. There is no change from verse to chorus, barely any bridges in this thing. And if you kind of cut out a little bit more of the repetitiveness, the song would have been better itself. This issue comes up with Born to Lose. I mean, I kind of actually like the song because I kind of enjoy, like, the kind of chorus thing that they got going on with it. But if they cut it down to two minutes instead of four minutes, it would have been a lot better for me. I just get two minutes in and I'm just like, yeah, I get it. Can we move on? Crush, I don't really like this song, period, to be honest with you. Um... I don't know, it's just uh, very, very forgettable. I mean, I can't remember anything. I can't remember a whole lot of this album, but moving on. End of the Line is the only song that I actually like on this thing that isn't Comeback Kid. End of the Line also is kind of repetitive, but I actually kind of really enjoy this song. It actually reminds me of Real Real off of Treats. So that one, that one's pretty good. I kind of enjoy that one. Leader of the Pack, once again, um needs to be cut short. Even though it's only like 2 minutes and 45 seconds, like you would assume that it would be okay. And I thought that at first too. I was like, finally, they might have got it right this one. But even that one just drags on way too long. If it was about like a minute and 30 seconds, maybe I would like it a whole lot more. Next we have Comeback Kid. This song is really, really awesome. It gets stuck in my head a whole lot. I have to play it again. And it reminds me of something that you could hear on Treats. It really does. If you put Comeback Kid, Riot Rhythm, and Infinity Guitars all together, that is a mind-blowing, just kick-ass group of songs right there all together. Isn't it funny how the best songs on this album I'm comparing to their first album? Maybe that's saying something. Hmm. Demons is pretty good. I mean, I really enjoyed, like, the sound of the guitar in that one. It kind of has, like, a ACDC type sound to it. But once again, Needs to cut off a few minutes. It's a little bit too long for me. The rest of the album, just forget it. I couldn't even halfway get into any of these songs. The first half of the album, until you get to about Demons, is kind of mediocre. I mean, like, I wasn't, like, wanting to kill myself or anything listening to those songs, but right after Demons, no, no, shut it off, shut it off. I'm serious. Road to Hell and You Lost Me? sound exactly the same. Road to Hell kind of has like this chug 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 going throughout the song and as soon as You Lost Me started, there it is again. Chug 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 Listen to it, compare the two, you'll see what I'm talking about. Never Say Die, I actually had high hopes that was going to be really good. But once again, it keeps up that repetitiveness, crazy, crazy amount of repetitiveness for a freaking like a three minutes and 15 second song. It was just too much for me. It didn't change at all. Same thing with DOA, the very last song of the album. There's just, 
it doesn't it doesn't go anywhere. It's a really unsatisfying ending. I don't know. I just think that I just think that they kind of are hitting a sophomore slump here or they're getting way too comfortable with their sound. I'm not really sure what's going on. But as I say, I'm really let down. It just seems like an album full of filler, just to go around comeback kid in a way. So, whatever. That's just my opinion of this. I actually wasn't planning on reviewing this, but uh, my roommate asked me to. And, uh, yeah, so those are pretty much my, that's pretty much my opinion on it. And you got two pretty good songs on this thing, but the rest of it just, it's way too repetitive. That's the biggest issue. I'm going to end this and start up on another review, so see you then.